Man, people do not like the idea of losing an hour from daylight saving time because it takes away from your quality complaining time on Twitter, apparently. A former state legislator floated an idea this morning that Coloradans should get a direct say in whether or not we leap forward an hour every March. And then Twitter got hot about it. Our Marshall Zellinger looks into the cost of losing time. Minutes. For fans of the musical Rent, we know that's how you measure, measure a year. But how do you measure an hour? Can you give me an hour of your time so that we no longer have to go through this nonsense of changing clocks twice a year? Former state Senator Greg Brophy hopes you can spare a few seconds of an hour when he starts collecting signatures for a ballot issue so Colorado can forever keep the hour you just gave up. The hard part will be putting together the volunteer network coupled with enough funding from hopefully from uh, social good networks to try to pay for at least some of the fundraising. In today's environment, you're probably talking between five and seven dollars a signature. Do the math, that's over, well over a million dollars. Steve Adams owns a firm that collects signatures to get issues and candidates on the ballot. For permanent daylight saving time to make the ballot, 124,632 valid signatures will be needed. To be safe, you want to collect probably double the amount. We would recommend 250,000. I do not have enough money to pay out of pocket to save this hour. You've got to find a sugar daddy or somebody that's got the money. So is one million or more dollars worth one hour? Last year, a group funded by the oil and gas industry spent more than $4 million collecting signatures for a ballot issue, Amendment 74. It lost. The group that wanted a sales tax increase for roads spent more than $1 million to get on the ballot. That issue also lost. On this issue, though, there's one well-known ally. Unrelated to Brophy's announcement, President Trump tweeted this morning, making daylight saving time permanent is okay with me. Maybe this is the thing that brings our country back together. That tweet was not because of Greg Brophy. It was because Senator Marco Rubio is pushing this for Florida and Congress needs to approve it. One quick note, Kyle. I said on the screen there that Brophy hates daylight saving. I confused myself. He loves daylight saving time. This would be November 2020 <laughs> and beyond. OK, there are a couple of options that are open to us, not just mm -hmm. the one that he's talking about. Right. I mean, we could stay on standard time and mm -hmm. stay fall back all the time. Mm -hmm. That, as if we approve that, that's fine. Congress has no say, but for some reason, Congress has to approve Colorado saying yes to daylight saving year round. Yeah. First, we have to say yes, and then we have to wait for Congress to be like, Colorado, that's cool. You know, what? I think people complain about it no matter what because people like to complain. All right, thank you, Marshall.